Hi, Neil again. Uh, long time no see. I've been busy with lots of other things. So, anyway, doing a survey this morning, and I've been asked to comment on the condition of the roof timbers. That there was a suspicion that the, the timbers were affected by fungal decay. So I've came up into the eaves void, and what we can see here on the surface of the the joists on the underside of the I suppose the the rafters. Sorry, you can see those distinct lines running down the, the rafters. And the, the severe got a bit concerned that there may be an issue with fungal decay in these locations. But it's basically, it, it, it isn't the case of fungal decay. There's obviously been some rainwater ingress. You can see it's the original slate roof. Uh, you can see your battens and the remnants of the, the lime torching on the back of the, on the underside of the roof. So what's happened over the years, obviously the rainwater does penetrate the building fabric. And if, where you have the lime torching, it obviously becomes wet. Water leaches from the lime torching into the timber. The lime torching is full of mineral salts. So as, the, as obviously the water evaporates from the rafters, the salts crystallize on the surface in a form of efflorescence. So it can look quite uh, significant. You know, it can be quite disfiguring to the, obviously the appearance of the timbers, but it's largely superficial. You do get some occasions where the, it will result in some minor breakdown of the fibres of the timber and it can look like a little bit of outbreak, I mean it's often been mistaken for an outbreak of fungal decay, but in particular wet rot, but it's perfectly normal, you know, we've seen this hundreds, you know, most of us have seen this hundreds of times. So it's something which you, at first appearance you can see it, you know, in this instance it's kind of, it's a reasonable example of it. But you do see occasions when it's very severe. You can see on the joist there, on the rafter there. You can see the salts crystallizing on the surface. And sometimes it can, you know, it can, it, it can look quite severe, but the damage is generally superficial to the surface of the timbers. And very, very rare that you'll ever see, you know, any significant structural breakdown. But it's, so it's what, you know, when I was younger, or when I was taught as a young severe, we referred to it as chemical attack. And I still use the term now, so it's basically just the, you know, the water migrates during periods of prolonged rainfall into the timbers as the water evaporates off, the salts crystallize on the surface, and in extreme cases it can look very much like fungal decay. But you know, if you want to test it, simple thing, just pinch a bit between your fingers, stick it on your tongue, and it'll disappear. And it's, it's just salts, natural salts. So there you are, just thought for the, I know there's a lot of uh, newer severes I've seen on LinkedIn that uh, recently and it's something if you come across if you see it there's a great example of it on the underside of the rafter there on the edge you tend to find that's where the sap wood is that's why there's, there's you can, the timber the water's penetrated a lot easier down that, that edge where there's a significant uh, sap wood element so there you are it's just a case of if you come across it don't panic, it's fairly easy to work out. You'll see the remnants. Uh, just as an aside, you often see that it gets worse once a new roof has been installed, so they'll take the roof off. They'll put new socking felt on, and then, you know, within months, uh, you suddenly get this huge uh, development of salts on the surface of the timbers. And it, 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 it gets progressively worse once the roof's been replaced for a short period of time, and the reason being is it's, it's totally logical. The water is evaporating from the timbers. As the water evaporates, the salts which were held in solution weren't visible. They start to crystallize on the surface. So I've seen it many times where new roof coverings have been put on and suddenly they get this, this, you know, this big development of uh, these salts on the in, internal timbers. But it's a case of, you know, the timbers will dry out fairly rapidly. If, you know, if, if needs be, they can brush the salts off and then that's pretty much it, it's done. So just a little one uh, for, you know, obviously the newbie, qualified severs or the less experienced severs. I just thought it would be a handy little bit of use information. Okay, thanks a lot now. Take care. Bye-bye.